Exploring the Electron Transport Chain, Regulation and Factors Influencing Its Function. Hello, welcome to the Science Guide ASAP Learning. Today we are going to be speaking about the Electron Transport Chain. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one. The electron transport chain, etc., is a crucial metabolic pathway that occurs in the inner mitochondrial membrane of eukaryotic cells. The pathway plays a critical role in cellular respiration, the process by which cells generate energy in the form of ATP. In this video, we will explore the steps of the etc. in detail, as well as other important information related to the pathway. The etc. is a series of electron transporting protein complexes and electron carriers that facilitate the transfer of electrons from NADH and FADH2, which are produced in the Krebs cycle, to molecular oxygen, O2, which is the final electron acceptor. The transfer of electrons results in the generation of a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane, which is used to power ATP synthase, the enzyme responsible for ATP synthesis. Step 1. Complex I, NADH dehydrogenase. The first complex in the etc. is complex I, also known as NADH dehydrogenase. This complex receives electrons from NADH and transfers them to coenzyme Q, Coke, also known as ubiquinone. As electrons are transferred, protons are pumped across the inner mitochondrial membrane from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Step 2, complex 2, succinate dehydrogenase. The second complex in the etc. is complex 2, also known as succinate dehydrogenase. This complex receives electrons from FADH2, which is produced in the Krebs cycle, and transfers them to Coke. Unlike complex I, complex 2 does not pump protons across the inner mitochondrial membrane. Step 3, coenzyme Q, ubiquinone. Coke, the electron carrier that receives electrons from both complex I and 2, passes electrons to complex 3. Step 4, complex 3, cytochrome BC1. The third complex in the etc. is complex 3, also known as cytochrome BC1. This complex receives electrons from Coke and transfers them to cytochrome C, a small mobile electron carrier that is located on the outer surface of the inner mitochondrial membrane. As electrons are transferred, protons are pumped across the inner mitochondrial membrane from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Step 5. Cytochrome C. Cytochrome C carries electrons from complex 3 to complex IV. Step 6. Complex IV, cytochrome C oxidase. The final complex in the etc. is complex IV, also known as cytochrome C oxidase. This complex receives electrons from cytochrome C and transfers them to molecular oxygen, which is reduced to water, H2O. As electrons are transferred, protons are pumped across the inner mitochondrial membrane from the matrix to the intermembrane space. Overall, the transfer of electrons through the etc. results in the generation of a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane, with protons being pumped from the matrix to the intermembrane space. The proton gradient is then used to power ATP synthase, which catalyzes the synthesis of ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate, PI. The process of ATP synthesis by ATP synthase is known as oxidative phosphorylation. It is important to note that the etc. is tightly regulated and can be influenced by several factors, including the availability of oxygen, the concentration of ADP and ATP, and the presence of inhibitory molecules. In addition, defects in the etc. can lead to the development of mitochondrial diseases, which are a group of disorders characterized by dysfunctional mitochondria. The electron transport chain, etc., is a tightly regulated metabolic pathway, and several factors can affect its function. Some of the key factors that can influence the etc. are Availability of oxygen Molecular oxygen, O2, is the final electron acceptor in the etc., and its availability is critical for the proper functioning of the pathway. In the absence of oxygen, the etc. cannot transfer electrons to O2, leading to a buildup of electrons and a reduction in the proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane. This can result in a decrease in ATP synthesis and an increase in the production of reactive oxygen species, ROS. Concentration of ADP and ATP the etc. is also sensitive to changes in the concentration of ADP and ATP, which are key regulators of oxidative phosphorylation. When the demand for ATP is high, the concentration of ADP increases, stimulating the etc. and the production of ATP. Conversely, when the demand for ATP is low, the concentration of ATP increases, inhibiting the etc. and the production of ATP. Proton gradient. The proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane is a critical factor that drives ATP synthesis. Changes in the proton gradient can affect the activity of ATP synthase and the rate of ATP synthesis. For example, a decrease in the proton gradient can lead to a reduction in ATP synthesis, while an increase in the proton gradient can result in the production of excess ROS. Inhibitory molecules, the etc. can be inhibited by various molecules that bind to the protein complexes and disrupt electron transfer. For example, rhodonone and amytal are inhibitors of complex I, while antimycin A is an inhibitor of complex III. Inhibition of the etc. can lead to a decrease in ATP synthesis and an increase in ROS production. Mitochondrial DNA mutations. The etc. is encoded by both nuclear and mitochondrial DNA, and mutations in either genome can affect its function. Mutations in mitochondrial DNA can lead to the development of mitochondrial diseases, which are characterized by defects in oxidative phosphorylation and energy production. 
In summary, the electron transport chain is a critical metabolic pathway that plays a central role in cellular respiration. The transfer of electrons through the pathway results in the generation of a proton gradient across the inner mitochondrial membrane, which is then used to power ATP synthase and the synthesis of ATP. The etc. consists of a series of protein complexes and electron carriers that transfer electrons from NADH and FADH2 to molecular oxygen, resulting in the production of ATP through oxidative phosphorylation. The regulation of the etc. is complex, and defects in the pathway can lead to the development of mitochondrial diseases. Understanding the steps in regulation of the etc. is essential for a comprehensive understanding of cellular metabolism and the treatment of metabolic disorders. Hope this helps. Please support this new channel by liking this video and subscribing for more videos like this one.